Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast Outlaws. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you another review your way. Yes, I didn't think I was going to do another video after the last previous one, but as all you guys are aware, tomorrow Lord Nico has to make his presence felt one last time for our podcast episode. So he's going to show up and sign off properly. And acknowledge all you yahoos like he's been acknowledged through the times and by celebrity apparently. But tune in for that this Saturday. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this fiasco from the MCU on Disney Plus or streaming called Secret Invasion starring Samuel L. Jackson, Cheadle, and a whole bunch of other actors and actresses there. Honest to God truth, guys. Six episodes of this uh, madness, and I don't know. I just didn't dig it. Like it was good, but it wasn't Marvel great. You know, I don't know. It's just luck luster. I don't know. It was just plain old boring to me. I don't know. It had its moments. Don't get me wrong. CGI is cool. The storyline. I don't know. Maybe it's too late to kind of give us this, and we should have got this months, perhaps even years ago. When the Avengers kind of ended, it's just like too much of a pause. I don't know, too much projects going on, but Samuel Jackson brought it. But I don't know, I just didn't give a shit. Like, pardon the language, you know? From episode one, I was like intrigued. Number two, I was like, okay. Three is the, and as the series kept on going down, it got even less as we went on. Like, from 52 minutes, I think it, the last even season finale was like 36 or 38 minutes. But that's probably including the post credits and or. The title screen and shit like that that went down. But uh, I don't know. I wasn't too impressed with it. Even the finale. It's like Marvel. Okay, they try to pull the rug on us. Like, you know, because Secret Evasion. The Skrulls. Yeah, someone's going to infiltrate big major characters. And the big major one that we all give a shit about is that Rhodey. Spoiler alert. War Machine guys from Iron Man and the Avengers and all the other shit films. Okay? Not shit films are good films. Uh, was apparently, I think, after Civil War or something. He was captured and someone replaced him, okay? And then we kind of figured that out, second or third episode, because, you know, he doesn't act that way, and we're smart. The one thing I don't think people caught, maybe the king could be wrong, but you guys can let me know in YouTube land, and if you do, I don't give a shit what you guys say, because this is my personal opinion, that I think the president might be a scroll as well, and he's, like, having that kind of, like, uh, I don't know, like, sympathy towards not only his people, but the humans, and he doesn't want to take over. Kind of like a Talos, right? And don't even surprise if it's Talos, for God's sakes, that takes, I don't know, like, something stupid, but the Nick Fury's married to uh, a Skrull and all this stuff, and then they end up, you know, at the end of the episode, going up and shit, and then you have Gaia, uh, the Queen of Dragons plays her. I can't even, um, Clark, she, uh, Supposedly, he's one of the strongest beings, and that kind of pissed the king off, too. That Super Scrolls originally, Fantastic Four, you know, each of their powers, four powers of the most. No, 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 no. They had to top this. And I don't know, Feige, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Did you get dropped on your head? I don't know. You're losing your touch. I don't know. Your nerve. Who knows? Too many people in your head? I don't know. I think that's what the case is. That, come on, you're giving her the powers of. Captain Marvel, Captain America, Black Panther, Thanos, Thor. Like, I can go on and on. Who else didn't you not throw in it? Korg, of all people? Come on. But just Thor, Thanos, Mantis, Drax. Like, I can keep on going on. Those alone, and uh, Captain Marvel, and that could pretty much make her the most powerful. And I thought the whole thing was not to make Captain Marvel the most uh, strongest person in the MCU and kind of dumb. And you gave it to, all to one character, basically. And what would the Avengers stand up to her do? You know, she killed the other idiot era of the show. So I don't know if that's a slip up. And the Hulk. Sorry, I forgot the Hulk too. So what else did you not give powers to? You pretty much gave her the top people in the Marvel thing. And how is Captain America, whoever the hell superheroes, or even Thor, going to stop this person? She's like became essentially a god in the MCU. I don't know. I just... That was the dumbest thing. So you kind of like basically threw everything out the window, boom. And then she's working with the UK instead of Nick Fury's. And Nick Fury just goes back up and disappears again. And like, I like I didn't get it. I thought it could have been more well written, more dramatic, 
And for the two hundred and fifty million for six episodes or whatever, like they could have made it one movie and that's it. And even then, it shouldn't have been a movie because it was lackluster. It wasn't interesting, man. Like personally, King thought it was okay. It wasn't the worst thing I saw. I'll tell you right now, by far, She Hulk. Uh, but for the most part, it was okay. I don't know, you guys. I felt kind of like empty at the end of it. Not pissed off, but uh, unsatisfied. Let's just say that. But. I did, you know, I would give it a pass, to tell you the truth, because, you know, good actors and shit like that, they still brought it, but, I don't know, I just didn't care at the end of it, like, it's like, what's the point of this, you know, kind of remind me of a couple other MCU uh, TV series, like, what's the point of doing Falcon, I get that, and all this other shit, but to introduce her, and that to make her the most powerful, after dumbing down other characters like Captain Marvel and shit, Captain Marvel should have been attached to this by none, this should have led into that, and they didn't even do that. They didn't even have a tie-in or anything. But anyways, okay. King has rented long enough. You guys let me know your thoughts on Secret Invasion. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Where do you rank it? I don't know. I don't even know what the hell to talk about. But I was like, eh, you know? Let me know in the comment section below. Might read them. Might not read them. Keep it clean. If not, I'll ban your ass like usual. So there you go, guys. That's my Secret Invasion, Disney+, Plus, Marvel Studios, MCU, whatever the hell you want to call it review i hope you guys liked it like share and subscribe check out our podcast part two finale coming up and of course whatever movie reviews i decide to do and even with lord nico don't be surprised if we do a SummerSlam uh reaction video as well so i don't know it ain't over till the fat lady sings as they say in this case until the king stops talking then maybe you'll get videos i don't know we'll see we'll see how things go but tune in like share and subscribe stay off the king strong and i'll see you guys where Right here on the podcast, Outlaws. And I'll be doing a Chuck review, but I'll tell you more about that tomorrow, Simpletons. Take it easy. Be the hell good.